let me introduce you to what I typically have on me on the days when I'm out networking and just experiencing the world. There are a few new additions to this set for me, but I guess all of this is new to you. As we transition out of summer and into the season of visiting family, I have the Fujifilm X100V to capture all of those candid, embarrassing moments that you print out and send family and friends as Christmas cards. Although this isn't the camera with the most updated specs or the best specs, it is small, compact, and for the most part, not intimidating when taking photos of others. It is just as every other Fujifilm camera that is out on the market. It comes with the Fujifilm simulations, but you can also shoot raw photos. It has the standard Fuji dials on the camera. It comes with a fixed lens, and I have this lens attachment on the front for stylistic choices. I will link everything that I mentioned in this video down in the description. It is in the all black design with the black leather grip, which bulks it up just a bit for better gripping. I have this red thumb grip to go with the color scheme of the camera. I did have a shutter button, but it always falls off, so I just never put it back on. Always keep this rip strap attached to it from Peak Design with the anchors, and I sometimes put the Argo Switch plate on the bottom and the case that I want to put it on a Peak Design tripod that I use almost daily when I'm out shooting. Speaking of cameras, I also have the iPhone 13 Pro, which has cameras that I rarely ever use, but this phone is my daily driver that lives in my pocket. It is almost the right size. I would have preferred to go with the mini, but I'm glad I have the bigger screen. I haven't felt the need to upgrade to the 14. I use this primarily for making calls, watching YouTube videos, texting and gaming, and you know, basically the usual stuff. That's pretty much the only reason I have this phone, but I do not use this phone with a case. I rarely ever drop it, but I have dropped it a few times and I found that using it with a case take away from the experience of experiencing the phone. Maybe I'll get a D brand skin one of these days. But speaking of gaming, I have this great device right here. This is the Backbone gaming controller, the gaming controller that works both with Android and iPhone. I got the iPhone version, although I do have an Android phone, the Google Pixel 4, which I usually use to control my house with. And sometimes I take it out as my daily driver, but I was thinking I should have got the Android version of this remote because I hate when I'm playing the game and I get calls and it just throws me off. So I probably should have got the Android version. But whenever I have about 30 minutes, I take out this controller, snap the iPhone in and I play and I can't get enough of playing with this controller. I usually play right before I go to bed, but man, possibly the best purchase that I made all year. I don't even know how I got through the day without this thing, but. Next up is my car key. Nothing special, just a car key with some other keys attached to it. It is a switchblade key for a Kia that gets me back and forth from A to B from doing personal errands and work errands. But next up we have the Apple Watch Series 4. This has been with me since the four was released. I use to track my health, tell the times, and sometimes as a calculator, and that's pretty much it. I rarely ever use any of the other features, but after making this video, I kind of want to figure out how to use this more in my day to day. I have this brown band on it. I think it's supposed to be like a leather type of band. I bought it because it looks nice, all for stylistic purposes. <laughs> Next up, we have the AirPod Pro, the version one, the AirPods Pro, the earbuds. I've had these basically since they were announced or since they started selling. They do what I need them to do. They are starting to show their age and I am a bit hard on them and they've taken a ton of falls. I use them to edit videos. I use them to listen to music. I use them to make calls. I use them whenever I'm using my phone or whenever I'm making one of these videos. When I'm doing a rough cut, I use them to do a rough cut, but then I use another set of headphones to do the main cut. But my AirPod Pros use these every day. I keep them in this black silicone case. It was a cheap black silicone case that I found online. I didn't need anything fancy. This does the jobs, but I am looking to upgrade them. I'm trying to decide whether I want to go with the Beats or the other AirPods, the earbuds, but we'll see. Next up, we have this wallet right here. I have for about seven years. This is a thin Vans wallet that I got 
I was buying a pair of Vans about seven years ago. It is thin, compact, can fit to up to about eight cards, probably more than that before it starts to stretch. It has this tab in the middle of the pocket that helps pull up whatever you have stuffed in the middle of it. It does what I needed to do. Carry a few cards, my ID, and a gray and white card for when I need to white balance my cameras when I'm out in the world. Then there is this knife right here. This is a new addition to the group. This is the banter knife. I was a floral designer for about nine years and as a designer you always want to keep a knife on you because you never know when you're going to be arranging something or when you're out doing watering if you're going to have to prune cut trim whatever the case may be i got used to having one on me but now i'm not a floral designer and now i can choose to carry one a more stylistic one than a practical one it is great for opening boxes and when i first got it i opened this package just so i can go and open another package that i had i like the way the blade looks it's a great new addition i like the handle it matches the watch it's a black blade with the black watch and the brown band kind of fit an aesthetic it is a great new addition but everything i carry has a practical use some i use more than others but they are part of my everyday carry they're always on me, either in my pockets or my backpack, but they're always on me. What is your everyday carry or your EDC? Let us know down in the comments while staying awesome. Stay awesome.